All right, welcome to turn six, I think it is. Question mark, checking. Turn five, that was close. Let's see if it went badly. No, it didn't, okay. Whew. Cave Knights for the win. That, that uh, expansion party's just about spent, but that's fine. We are above ground. We have a, we have a nap with uh, Piconia. Um. Oh my lord. I... Huh. 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 I'll, oh, also, that's, that's Zeus over there. Oh, lovely. Um. Not taking that throne anytime soon. All right, go, go for it. No, he we, he random Earth two, which is uh, not the best possible random for a uh, alchemist. It's honestly probably one of the worst. However, because we just have a bunch of we just have recruitable Earth twos. Um, these guys. So fire two or water two is generally the better, um, but it works for for site searching. I won't complain. Um, that opens us up to getting some earth gem income. Uh, my friend is trying out single player dominions. Uh, she learns the game and uh, she's Vadyheim and just found out she's neighboring and Germania, which is uh, fun times. Um, all right, so what, what do we got here? Just, we have turtle warriors, which is an interesting proposition. Um, This map does not wrap, by the way, north-south. It wraps east-west, but not north-south. So we're not near the bottom of the map. I think we send our uh, profit back down. Um, I might. Here's the idea. We recruit a turtle chief, right? He can take 75 turtle warriors underwater. So that's what he's going to do. And we're going to supplement our shitty land expansion by going underwater. <laughs> you thought, El they thought Ella Agartha was the only non-amphibious Agartha. They were wrong. <laughs> this this game's gonna be jank. Um, yep. So there's Femini right here. I was talking with uh, I've been talking a bunch with Picanha, because he was my neighbor, and he very kindly and thank you, Herdeless, very much for letting me have a game. <laughs> he very generously changed his uh changed his elephant idol from coming to Chilad or the Forest of the Lost up to Rim Mountains. So I have this and I can expand out this way. To Of course, this means I'm coming towards Femini. Oh, there's Atlantis right there. Okay, so going underwater, probably not ideal. Hmm... Wait, is that Augustin? That's Atlantis. Holy cow, that is the tiniest province I have ever seen. What? What are these? What? What are these? What? It's dominions. 
Oh dear, what, what happened? <laughs> uh, uh, Dimbady things. Um, Dimbady, not the best assassins, it turns out, as my friend is finding out. Um, Alright, do we still have Ruwax Pratt Pact? I don't think we do, do we? No, we don't. Okay. I was like, um, Nurse Magma Children would be <laughs> genuinely nice right now. Um, Alright, but we are going. Alright, we have Conjuration 2, so we want uh, Death. We, got, we want 3, and we can get Shared Whites. I think we want shared weights instead of uh, penumbrals, to be honest. What is this? Someone's corpse scandal. Huh. Interesting. Um, all right, so we'll do that. All right, and then we're going to, we're going after the Hot Hollows. All right, so what, what it realized had happened, a hairless clued me in, is uh, we generated this map with many small caves instead of two large caves. And it turns out that map gen setting does not uh, take into account uh, cap circles. So I just get shoved into one of the tiny caves. Um, <laughs> Hare said that he almost considered giving me this cave but it is in fact in his cap circle, so he felt that was that was foolish of him, and I said that's quite understandable. So we're not getting a, a bat cave. However, we are going to Fort Chilad as soon as we can, um, and then we're going to uh, we're, we're going to do the things as many things as we can. Uh, we're not taking the midge fens, obviously. There's Zeus there. Um, So we're gonna have to come out through the Forest of the Lost. Um, Chilad is in fact a really good province for a fort. It's got really high recruitment points, high population that is in fact growing up. Going up, not growing up, going up. I guess they're also growing up. Um, and it has okay resources for because it is in fact a mountain, because there are mountains right here. Um, so that's 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 a good combination. Um, we'll try and take these, and then see if we can we can spike our way into the cave, the other cave, um, and like have I don't know. I think our undead or amphibious. Let me check. <laughs> this <laughs> this game is going off the rails real fast. Um, all right, spells, uh, Eliagartha. Catonian Undead, National only. Uh, the Shard Whites would be the Amphibious guys. Yes, the amphibi Amphibious. The Tomb Oracle is also Amphibious. Um, are the Umbrals Amphibious? They are. The Iron, iron Corpses aren't. No, they're poor Amphibians. Okay, so. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. If we can secure some sort of. Like pathway through Black Grave into this other cave, I will probably talk to to uh, Dead Salmon about that. I believe he's playing uh, Atlantis. And I'll see if I can't secure my route into the other cave. And then we can depending on where these caves if this cave has another entry, oh, there's a there is in fact a kraken over there. Okay, that's that's not great. There's another kraken. Oh, joy. Um, all right, that throws a bit of a wrench and things, but whatever. We'll make it work. It just works. Um, so yeah, we have a we have a necromancer on the way. He will be recruited next turn, and then I can throw in another attendant of the dead. I guess to go with them, and then we'll be able to. Uh, we'll do something, is what we're going to do. 
<laughs> I guess that's, yeah, we'll do something. All right, see you all in turn number five, uh, six.